Hey, it's Lowe, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use two microphones in multi-track with Audacity. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna give you a brief reason why I came to needing and wanting to do this. Now, my son and I, we have a YouTube gaming channel. Check it out right there. Um, and we would both record on our mixer. But the thing is, the mixer, it would all go into one channel, and it's really tough, you know, while you're doing the, uh, the gaming or before and after, you know, we'd have to ride the levels and it was kind of tough playing and kind of riding levels at the same time. And then in post-production, it would be of a, a real pain in the butt trying to, you know, maybe I was talking loud and he's just kind of soft and I would have to compress that. And of course that would just bring, introduce all sorts of other noises in. And I just wanted to get away from that. I wanted to uh, handle both separately, you know, normalize it, clean it up and then bring it together. Well, the second time around I decided, okay, well, uh, I'm gonna re record into the mixer, and my son, he'll record into this device I have here, the, the Zoom H6. Yeah, Zoom H6. Uh, that was great. I got the clean audio I wanted, but it was a pain when it came to, the syncing was not the problem, but if the sync wasn't just right, I would have this phasing going on, and while I was talking, you sort of hear myself kind of echo in the background and, and vice versa. It was a pain in the butt. Yeah, I could have used, I could have recorded both vocals on the, the Zoom, but you know, I, I, I I don't know, I just didn't think about it. Okay, so I wanted to do the, do the same thing on the mixer. You know, just, just kind of have everything all in one place. I didn't want to be detached in any kind of way. Just wanted to do on the mixer. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it. Two mics, multi-track, and audacity. Okay, so first things first, the idea is to take a stereo channel and split it into two mono channels. We're gonna take the left channel and the right channel and split that into two separate files. So with, with your mixer, uh, most mixers are the same, but you know, if there's any difference, a very slight difference. So the, the theory is the same behind all of them. This is my mic number one. This is mic number two. Mic one, I, I just have it. There's another microphone here, but for this example, mic one, mic two, channel two, and channel three. What you want to do is you want to pan your first mic all the way to the left. Pan your second mic all the way to the right. That way, that way, in your stereo channel, one mic is fully to the left, and in your other, I'm sorry, in the right side channel, the second mic is fully to the right. Okay, so now we're set up there. Your mixer is connected to your computer. In this case, I use kind of like a USB uh, dongle device. You know, just, it kind of takes the XLR inputs, I'm sorry, XLR, and then it kind of throws the, uh, the audio channels into the box and it throws it into, I really gotta get a, uh, a mixer that's just straight USB and kind of lose the clutter. And I, of course, I'll get a cleaner signal with less wires. All right, let's get to it. All right, so let's go straight into Audacity. And this is what you want to have set up. You want, here, you want to stereo recording. Okay, we'll check our monitors. And now remember, I have mic one going straight to the left. I'm tapping the left channel right now. And then mic two going straight right. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and we will press record. And as you can see here, I'm talking here in the left channel. Actually, I'm gonna mute the right channel now so you can actually see. Testing one, two, three, testing in one, two, three. Now I'll unmute it and I'll mute the left channel. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So as you can see right away, our waveforms Right here, this is when I, before the mute, and right here, this is when I muted the right channel, and this is when I muted the left channel. And then I came back in here. All right, now one more thing. Uh, just in case, let's just say you have everything here set up, you're pressing record, but for some reason, you're not getting the separate stereo channels. If there's no true stereo, it's like a, it's almost like a, a mono stereo. Uh, sometimes Windows, it might just default your microphone or whatever your, your USB um, device that's going in for the recording, it, it'll default it to mono even though here you have it set to stereo. What you wanna do is go to your, your mixer, playback devices, no, I'm sorry, no, 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 recording devices, go to your microphone, okay? Or whatever device is supplying a microphone feed Go to configure. No, I messed that up. 
properties, advanced. This is where this is where you want to go. Select the sample rate and bit depth. Blah, blah blah blah. Okay. When I first did this, when I was trying to uh, uh, troubleshoot, this was on one channel. 4100. Now the the Hertz is, it's that's up to you. 44100, 48000. That's up. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, 40000 provides like a better uh, uh, quality profile for sync into video, uh, but either one is just fine. So for me, the first channel was set. So no matter how far I panned, no matter where in the options in Audacity I set the stereo, it just wasn't picking up until I switched it to two channel. 4100, 44100, or 48000. So make sure you have that set. Okay, so now you've recorded your two separate channels. Now, it's, it's actually still technically one, one file. So what you want to do is go to audio track and split stereo track. I'm sorry, no, split stereo to mono. Boom. All right, so now look at this. You have two separate tracks now. So what you can do now is once you're done, once you're uh, noise reducing, once you normalize and everything you want to do, um, I'll save that for a separate video as far as uh, uh, sound reduction and, uh, and gating. You can go ahead, go to file and export selected audio. If you do export audio, it will export the entire file as one audio, uh, you know, as one file. So go file, export selected audio. And go ahead, name it. We'll call it track one. That's set. And then we'll go ahead and do the second one. Track two. Okay. And here are our files. Track one and track two to do with however I please. We're good to go. All right, now one more thing. You still might get some voice bleed from one mic to the next. Uh, it's not a perfect solution, but it is a better solution so you can actually uh, tinker with the audio. Uh, what, you, what you can do is, and I'll use this for a separate video, but what we can do is just kind of uh, find, let's just say, this is where this is where I'm talking, but the voice still might there might be a, like a little mumble of the voice in this track. You can actually reduce um, the gate, so anything below a certain level, it'll just kind of ignore it. That way, you can just hear one track instead of the other. I'll do a separate video on that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you, go ahead, leave a like. If uh, you want to see more videos like this, go ahead, subscribe. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So until next time, this is low for low nose. Well. Sort of. I'll see you in the next video.